For those of you that are just joining us, welcome to the Under Armour All-American game. We have two sponsored Under Armour All-America teams taking on each other here. Let's get this action underway. We've already got a sack on the first play of the game. Second down and 15, Outlaw in the shotgun. Got a running back to his left. He checks it down here to Hickman. Going to take a big hit. Namely, all the eyes are on a cornerback by the name of Jakari Peterson. He will be on the right side of the field, split out by the 20, about near the 25-yard line. We've got a blitz here to the right, and Hickman again. Obviously, Outlaw's favorite target. He's going to be completing this pass for a first down. Ball will be on the 38-yard line with three minutes and five seconds left to go. A little option play here. Outlaw pitches it here to Jones, but the good gang tackling is going to knock him down. Only a gain of two. Second down and eight situation here. Mansfield on the tackle. Have four receivers in the set. Outlaw with no pressure at all. Concepcion makes the catch and gets the first down here. All eyes will be on Jakari Peterson and where he will be declaring to after this game. Obviously, big moment here for Jakari Peterson with the interception and then the juke move. Oh, what a move. The stiff arm. The filthy stiff arm and a juke move here to try to extend this out and take this for six. But Jakari Peterson, the ball hawk, he may have gotten a little bit beat here on the route, but the recovery speed is what so many College scouts are ooing and eyeing and raving about this player. The offense will take control here. Here's a running play to Jones. Makes multiple moves. Gets the stiff arm. And he's going to bring it back here to third down and 13. Wilkerson in the shotgun. Nobody back there to protect him. Got really good blocking, but under throws this pass. But White is going to double get, get double teamed and somehow still make this catch. This is something that... If I'm a college scout, I'm looking at that and saying, like, this guy has a lot of ball skill right here. Wilkerson, nice moves, following his lead blocker to the right side on the speed option play. Ten seconds to go here once we jump forward in this highlight reel. And we have Outlaw getting sacked by Dykes. Already got three tackles here today. One for a loss. You will notice the score here is still nothing to nothing despite the black team being in field goal position. It's still 0-0. Zero to zero. And Outlaw here trying to find somebody open. He's going to bust off a sack, but not this one. It's going to be fourth down. What a big knock there. Good defensive pressure by the black team. 326 left to go here in the second quarter. Wilkerson dropping back a little bit deep here. He's going to check it down to Lang, who's going to make the catch. Might have had the L1 open in the back corner of the end zone. So that is something that the scouts will definitely need to look at for Wilkerson. But he's got the speed with the fake option as well. He's got a blocker in front, but tiptoes out of bounds. Wilkerson now four attempts for 32 yards. He's obviously got wheels to burn. He's got speed. He's got the moves. He's got the wherewithal. That's something that is going to translate at the next level. Here is Wilkerson yet again, and he's going to take this thing to the left side. He's going to fight for extra yardage. And pick up a good gain here. Second down and three at the eight-yard line. Wilkerson is feeling it at this point. Here he is. Going to roll out to the right. And it's going to be a touchdown to Long. Nice pass. I may have misconfused that. That was not Lang. It's Long. He's got a short last name. And his last name's Long. <laughs> Two catches. One for a touchdown. And is seven to nothing. UH, Under Armour home team, the black team. Two minutes and 20 seconds here for the white team. Outlaw, pass up the middle, almost intercepted, but Darby stays with it. What a concentration grab there to move the chains. Jumping ahead here, a minute 35 left to go. Third down and nine, here's Outlaw. Not going to bust off this one. It's a fumble, it's on the ground, and Barry picks it up. Fumble recovery for the black team. They are going to be in good field position here now. One minute and 22 seconds and a fake snap. But what a move by James. He's got blockers to the left. He's going to cut it up the middle. And unfortunately, it will be fourth down and six. However, the clock is still ticking. And Wilkerson leads his troops back out there. They want to be aggressive here in this game. Want to impress the scouts with some fourth down conversion. And Bodford, Bodyford is going to make the catch here with under a minute left. A big time fourth down conversion here. Here's Wilkerson with a pump fake. He's going to roll to the right. Pass out here to Long with the nice catch. 
he's going to get all the way down to the 8 yard line. He's been a go-to target here for Wilkerson near the red zone. Here's a pass completed to Carter and nobody's going to get him until the last minute. Five yard completion. That is a touchdown. Carter gets in to the end zone. Gotta love this. The black team is really putting it on. Pouring it on at this point. 14 to nothing with no end in sight. They've got good defense here on Outlaw. They've been able to shut down the running game. And Jakari Peterson on that right side of the field has been a playmaker. Been totally shutting down the opposing receiver. Nothing open. Here's a big hit as well. And it is just a crazy, crazy blowout at this point, guys. 14 to nothing. Under Armour Highlight versus Under Armour Spotlight. Let's kick off the second quarter. Here comes White, and he's got good blocking out in front. He's got space. One man to beat. He is not going to get past that second level of the special teams unit, but Wilkerson and this offense will get back to work, but he's going to take the sack. Very rare have we seen Wilkerson go down that easy. He has been a playmaker once the pocket has broken down, and just like last time, he's not going to be able to get out of this one. He's going to get sacked again for a multiple yard loss. Third down and 29. They're going to bring the pressure yet again. Why not? And Wilkerson is only going to get a couple yards there. That is not a bad decision. Don't force it. It's a two-score game. Let's just get the ball punted back over to Spotlight and see how we do from there. Here's a big hit on Outlaw, but he's going to fumble it again. But Concepcion takes it, picks it back up, recovers it. Good wherewithal there by the running back. Here's Outlaw. More pressure, but oh! You can't make that throw, and he knew it. He might have gotten away with it. Jakari Peterson was all over that route. He could have easily picked that off. Just may have misread it just a little bit. But here's another big-time hit on Outlaw Murphy. The offensive lineman is going to pick this up, but you can see the total yardage there is in the negatives at this point. Spotlight has been getting absolutely massacred. Here's a pass up the middle to White. Big-time catch, but I believe he was down. I believe the ground... Caused the fumble here, but they will not review it. They will not review this. Here's a little run here to the right side, but a big hit on Concepcion. He has been taking a beating in this game so far, but way to hang with it, kid. Way to hang with it. Here is Long with a nice catch after Spotlight has to give up the football. So... Under Armour Highlight now has this thing. 40 seconds left in the third quarter, and here comes Wilkerson. Blockers out in front with the juke move to the left side. He's going to pick up the first down and then some. Averaging a 3.7 yards per carry at this point in the second half. In the third quarter, we got Carter down here to the 5, maybe the 6. But you can see the offensive yardage total, just the differential between both teams. It has been a bloodbath. And Highlight is taking it to Spotlight here. We've got a player offsides here, but nobody's calling it. But it's going to be a touchdown to Bodiford anyway. Interesting. Oh, there it is. There is the flag. There's the flag right there. So player was offside. And it just seems like Under Armour Spotlight is totally out of sorts here. And the head coach needs to be thinking about possibly making some changes here. Uh, these guys seem to be totally outmatched. Concepcion again. Another big hit here. Outlaw is getting this man killed. 21 to nothing. 333 left to go with the third and nine situation. Here is Outlaw dropping back. He takes one step and decides to take off and run for it. And it's going to be fourth down. Fourth down and nine. With 321 left to go. They are going to go for this. No reason not to. Little exhibition game. Might as well try to get extra plays in your in your highlight reel for the college scouts. But we do get another sack. On Outlaw, and it's, we're going to jump here forward to the fourth quarter, and here is James again with a nice juke move. He finds himself into the end zone, and, you know, you got to wonder if that was something where Spotlight was just going to give him the score anyway at this point. It's 28 nothing. It was 21 nothing beforehand, but 20 nothing now, and how do you how do you analyze that, really? How do you analyze this? And then here is another interception by Outlaw, and he just tossed it right to him. It, was not, it wasn't even competitive. It was just, it's not, it has not been a good game. Um, we do have holding on the call, so it will be going back to Under Armour Spotlight. But, you know, it just has been a brutal game for Spotlight, and you have to wonder and feel for some of these kids that really came into this game hoping that this highlight reel would be a little bit 
uh, more of a showcase for those college teams that might be looking for the next future at quarterback, the next future at any of these positions, really. But just not enough production from Spotlight. Highlight got it done 35 nothing in this game. And we actually have an interview upcoming with Jakari Peterson. And we are going to be asking him some questions. And Jakari, what a game, by the way. What a game. You had an interception earlier on in the first half. And I just I want to ask you, what has the recruiting process been like for you? The recruiting process is it, it, definitely was fun. Got to see a lot of places, visit a lot of schools. Um, but ultimately, you know, it's one particular school that, you know, that I fell in love with. And, you know, they're going to give me the opportunity to get some early playing time, unlike a lot of other schools, you know, promised me. So it's definitely been fun. Nice. Okay. Thank you for that. I also have, I have, I have a list of questions, actually, Jakari. I actually have a list of questions. And, and everybody wants to know, especially with cornerbacks, especially with cornerbacks, a lot of cornerbacks like Deion Sanders, Aqib Tlaib, these shutdown corners, Daryl Revis, a lot of these cornerbacks, they have a certain mentality that you kind of have to have a, dare I say it, prima donna, a diva type of mentality. Wide receivers that you play up, play up against have this type of mentality. You have to feel like you're the best or you end up will getting beat. You have to come in with an alpha mentality if you're going to play this position. You have to be a fierce competitor. So who would you say has been your biggest motivation at this point for you? Yo, without question, my dad, he, he played 19 years in the NFL, so my preparation for the game is by far better than, you know, kids my age, so I, I got to hit up on that, but it's, it's no doubt my father, um, you know, me and my brothers, my two other brothers, we push each other to make each other better each and every day, no matter what it is, we always competitive, so definitely my father, so, um, yeah, that's, that's the person that motivates me to, you know, be who I am today. So I can't thank him enough for that. What player has really gotten under your skin that you think might have caused a rivalry? And, I, you know, you might say that, you know, nobody gets under your skin. But if there had to be a player out there who really matched your intensity level, who would you say that that has been? Oh, man, without a doubt, Hickman, man. That dude is... He gets on your skin, but at the same time, he makes you better. You know what I mean? So we play at rival school, so that's that's someone who, you know, gets under your skin, but also, you know, he makes you better, if if that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, so you're going to have those guys that, you know, talk smack, get up on your skin and make you elevate your game. You know what I mean? So he's definitely, he's a four-star guy. He haven't, you know, decided to commit it yet, but that's one particular person you know, that, that will get up on your skin and, and, you know, make you better. Always good to hear the back and forth banter between two opposing players. It's what we fans love. It's, it's true to the game. It's, it's really what goes down on the field and there's really no fake answers to that. So I thank you for that answer. What do you think will be the biggest challenge for you as you head to the next level? Obviously high school football is a lot different than college you're talking about cream of the crop. Obviously, the NFL is the next step from there, and it's an even shorter window. So what do you think the biggest challenge for you as you head to the next level will be? For me, like I said, I got I to gotta jump on because my father, you know, made it to the NFL, but definitely preparation and attention to detail because, like you say, high school and college is, is night and day. So you got bigger, faster, stronger, you know, people you know grown men so you definitely have to be on your a game you have to study film study preparation because you know you you're going to be you know challenged each and every play each and every week so definitely the preparation and attention to detail is definitely something that i take pride on and you know it's, it's going to carry over from you know high school and you know on to college we actually see a few of your teammates here playing this game will they follow you to the next level have you talked to them about that in the locker room? I've been actually trying to convince a couple of my teammates to, you know, follow me to the school that I've chosen. But, you know what I mean, I get only wishing the hope. But, you know, at the end of the day, they, they got to make their own decision. You know, I can only encourage them, you know what I mean, so to come join me. But at the end of the day, it's, it's ultimately up to them whether they want to, you know, follow me or not. It would be great, but, I mean, it, it's, it's all up to them. I think, finally, the last question we all want to know 
really, ultimately, is where are you going to go? Where is Jakari going to play college football at? I mean, that's what it's on everybody's mind. That's what I'm hoping. Jakari, it's been a really good interview. I, I hope you can give me a bone here, right? I'm, I'm on I'm on a little bit of a salary here to uh, a little bit of kickbacks if I can if I can coax some answers out of people, right? So can you help me out, Jakari? Please, can you help me out? It's for my family. Man, this particular school is, is giving me an opportunity to, you know, further my education, but at the same time, I fell in love with it from day one, so I will be committing to. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jakari. Thank you for your time.